Today in Roblox Blocks Fruits, we go on to the Marine Fortress and we fight the quest enemies and the boss and hopefully level up a bunch. My goal is to hit level 200 today. I don't know if it's gonna be easy, but make sure you like the video because the videos are cool, right? And you like videos? I'm just gonna update my desk right here. There we go, that's a good That's a good spot. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Russo and today we're playing Blocks Fruits. I guess we're a Blocks Fruit channel now. If you're not a returning viewer and you're here for the first time, welcome. I kind of suck at this game, but I'm getting better video by video. And now we're finally making our, wait, wait, select the game pass boat to purchase it. Dude, I kind of want a game pass boat. I guess I don't have one. Okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just spawn in the enforcer because that one's super fast. Is this a game pass boat? I think it might be. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go over to the Marine Fortress. We're going to fight the enemies there, see if we can beat the boss and try to make it to 200 today. This series, I'm basically just doing a noob playthrough in this game because I've never played it and I just kind of want to get to max level eventually become a pro but i don't want to do it all in one video because it would literally take me weeks of grinding so i might as well just make videos on each area basically right now we're just in the first sea and we're going to the marine fortress and we're gonna take on the enemy there i finally ended up beating bobby i figured out he had an immunity to swords and i also beat the yeti in the frozen tundra whatever it's called frozen palace i don't remember what it's called but here is the marine fortress this is sick wait what's this icon create crew. Oh, you can make a crew? That's kind of cool. All right, let's go here. Marine Fortress. Now we fight enemies from the Marines. Uh, let's jump out. Excuse me. Advanced Marines boat deal. Oh, cool. Oh, wait. Marines boat. Can I not buy a boat from him because I'm not Marines? Oh, I guess I can. I can buy the brigade. Brigade. Pretty cool. We'll, we'll do that when we uh when we need to. <laughs> There's the wanted posters everywhere. And where is the guy that lets me spawn here? Because I definitely need to get that spawn before I, uh, before I die. A sad death. Oh, here he is. Sir, I really need you. I need you. Thank you. I learned the hard way that you always want to do that. <laughs> so um, I'm at mastery 58 with my light fruit. Wait, where's my where's my sword? Why is it not working? Wait, why is my stuff not working? Is this a bug? My stuff isn't working. Why don't I have my abilities? Nothing's working. Guys, what happened? Let me reset my character and see if that fixes it. Okay, something's happening. I literally can't bring out my abilities. Here we are. Now it is working. So in this new area, we can fight the petty officers. Chief, chief petty officer level 120. Um, and again, since I have the light fruit, I'm pretty sure he can't do damage to me. So it's just easy to grind these quests, honestly. This light fruit is huge. And I got a lot of mastery, mastery for that. I still have two times mastery there. And I have the two times experience. So let's go ahead and talk to the quest line guy. Where is the quest guy, actually? Is he back here? Where you at, quest guy? I know you're here somewhere. This place is actually pretty big. Oh, he's back. Wait, that's the weapon dealer. Where's the quest guy? Here he is. All right, so now we got the quest guy, Marine. Please select a quest, Chief Petty Officer. So we'll go to the Vice Admiral soon, but let's fight these guys first. The the CPOs, is that what they are? Let's fight this guy right here, ready? So we'll use Barrage, we'll use the Beam. Dang, pretty good, pretty good. And uh, we're getting a lot of mastery for it. That's the big part. Mastery is getting easier and easier to level up, which is a good thing because mastery takes a while and I can get light kick soon. I almost actually have all of these, like level 80. That'll actually get me pretty far. Like once I get to level 80, all I need is the one for 120 and I have everything, I think. Nice. So I, uh, I leveled up right there. Five more officers and I'll get myself another thing. Again, all tips and hints and tricks and whatever I will accept in the comment section below. I know I'm still kind of noobish in this, but I'm finding my way and it's honestly getting really addicting. Like something about it is like a grindy MMO that I really like. And I like those MMOs that aren't too hard to play. Like there's some games with like insane abilities, right? Where it's like you constantly have to be using your hot bar and there's a bunch of different things. And this one, there's not that many and it's mostly just like a hack and slash and I kind of like it if I'm being honest because it's it's pretty simple for me to understand. All right, one more officer. We're almost to 500,000 money, which is cool. That's pretty good. This will give me a lot. Bam. So we leveled up all the way to, whoa, 128. Not bad at all. Okay, so we leveled up to 128. I kind of want to see what level we need for this, 130. Okay, we have to do this one more time and then we can fight the guy, the vice admiral here. I learned that you can't actually skip areas entirely because you need to be a certain level for certain quests. So that is kind of sad. I thought you could straight up just skip areas, but yeah, you can't. I At least as far as I've figured out. Uh, yeah, that's a sad thing. Okay, we can uh, put some more stats into Blocks Fruits here. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get Blocks Fruits to 300 and then we'll start doing defense and melee again so we can get our stamina and our health up a bit because I want to get that to like really high numbers. Even though it doesn't really matter, I guess stamina is probably best because I don't even need health. Except for when I'm fighting bosses, it'll be, it'll be pretty handy. 
Okay, that quest helped me get to level 132, and I'm close to the next one. Got a lot of money here from these chests. And now we can do Vice Admiral, which is, I think, the boss here. So level 130, defeat Vice Admiral, 415,000 experience. This is going to level me up a bunch, probably close to 140. Uh, is he in here? Is he up here? Dude, where is this guy? This is the coolest area I've been in, though, so far. There's cannons. There's, like, a lot to it. How do I... Do I have to, like, climb? How do I do this? Where is he? I don't know where the Vice Admiral is. Okay, this area is just, like, super big for no reason. <laughs> is this him? No, this is not him. Where is he, bro? I actually don't know where he is. Okay, there's another officer down. Oh, and my mastery is 82, so I can use light kick now. Let's try that. Oh my gosh, he went flying. This guy went flying, bro. That's sick. I don't know where this vice admiral is. Is he up there? He must be up there. Are you supposed to have to do this parkour? Is there an easier way up? Why do I have to do all this parkour, bro? Ah, that was tough parkour. Is he up here? He better be up here. Is he not up here? Where is this guy? All right, well, at least we got a chest here. There's a chest. I don't see this guy, bro. Where the, where the heck is he, bro? I mean, they put Bobby in a weird spot. So like, he's probably in like a random spot. Okay, I'm so confused. I literally don't see this guy. Where, oh, where is this vice admiral guy? I don't think he's inside the building. Is he? Oh my gosh, he's right there. Maybe he just didn't spawn in yet. <laughs> I didn't see him. So he's probably gonna be pretty tough. Okay, this is gonna... Yeah, he's, he's definitely pretty tough. I can use light kick now. Oh my gosh. He does a lot of damage. Okay, I gotta dodge that hit. I can't let him hit me because that's a big hit. No, I'm only six health. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so weak. I'm so weak. No, he's so OP. I almost got him though. <sighs> I almost got him. I lost I lost bounty. Doesn't really matter. He might still be at the same health though. That means I'm gonna have to start getting my uh, melee up so I can get my stamina up. Yeah, that's gonna be really helpful. Yes, I got him. <sighs> okay, so I got a lot of levels for that. Huge mastery. And it took me to level 138, almost 140, just by defeating one dude. And now uh, I, st I still can't go to the next area. I probably have to be level 150 or maybe 140. Not exactly sure. So let's just take on this uh, chief petty officer quest a few more times, and then we'll go to the next zone. But this guy is tough, dude. This guy definitely uh, was a bit more than I was bargaining for. Maybe I could get my mastery full with this light. Like... If I just keep using this and fighting these guys, how much master do I get for each enemy? I get a lot. So I'm at 20,000 out of 23,000. Let's see how much I get for this. Dude, the kick is so funny. Okay, light barrage. I got a lot for that. I get almost 20,000, dude. It's a lot of mastery. So I can get my mastery up to level 100. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get light fruit mastery up to level 100. And maybe I'll get it to 110. I'll get all of the abilities in this episode, and then we'll fight the boss again. That's what I'm gonna do, all right? I'm gonna unlock all abilities for light. Look at that, I'm a light master. I'm a light master, I'm destroying. All right, this right here should take me to level 150, or at least really, really close. I found that light barrage seems to be the best ability, at least that I've used. Light kick's pretty good, but it's just like, it just sets them back. So like, it doesn't do as much damage. I think light barrage does the most damage, and light beam's pretty good because you can do it from far away. Oh, there I am. Look, I'm almost 150. So if we do this quest one more time, it'll take us to 150. It'll actually take us a little bit higher. And then I'm assuming we can go to the next zone after that. I'm assuming you have to be 150 to do it. And then we can take on... Yeah, he's back. We can take on the Admiral yet again. But I'm waiting until I get Mastery 110. Then I'll have all my light abilities. So I'll be able to fight him using all light abilities, which will make things a lot easier because I have to wait for Light Beam and it takes forever. Also... What do the other mastery levels do? Like, why is there a mastery for up to 600? Why, like, does it, is it, does it depend on, like, which fruit you have? Like, is some of them have 600, but not all of them? Because I don't really understand, like, why it says the max is 600, but 110 is the highest for light. Maybe it'll stop leveling at 110. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I'm going to get this to level 110 real quick, and then we'll see if we can take on the Admiral again. And I'll see, I guess, how long I have to take this, uh grinding of the mastery because i kind of want to complete the mastery oh my gosh i just destroyed him oh he's back <laughs> he was like in the water and then he just came back i've learned the hard way don't chase your enemies into the water because uh they will come back but you won't you will die <laughs> all right here it is i'm not going to accept another quest because i'm literally about to hit it i'm about to hit 110 so this is going to be max mastery as far as abilities go i think 
And then there it is. Mastery level up to 110. So I can still level it up. So why? Why can I still level it up if I can do all the abilities? Let's use Sky Barrage though. Let's see how it is. Wow. So I think Light Barrage still seems to do the most damage. I don't know. I think Sky Barrage is kind of a mixture of Light Kick and Light Barrage, which is good, but I don't know what else I can do. I mastered it. I have a full mastered uh, set now. Like, look at that. I can do all of it. So I, I don't really know why I can still level up the mastery. Does it level up the damage you do? Or are there more hidden hidden abilities that I can do? I'm not really sure, but let me know how that works, how the masteries work. Like I already got it to 111. So I've unlocked every single ability. So why do I have to get it to 600? Is it, does it increase stats as you go? Because I thought this increases stats. I don't really know. All I know is I have 60 available points. Let's get this to 300 real quick. Let's get our defense up a lot. We, we want our health to be really high and stamina up would be good. Maybe Maybe 75 for both. We could take both to 80, actually. So that's pretty good. My health being that high now is really good. And uh, now I have a lot of stamina. I'm able to uh, dash around a lot more and double jump around a lot more. So when I'm fighting him, it should be a lot easier. So let's take him on yet again. I'm level 153. And then look, I now can go to the Skylands. So we've defeated this area, this Marine Fortress, but it's time to take him on one more time and uh, get a little boost for the next area. Plus we get 15,000 bucks. It's pretty good. Okay, ready? I'm a little scared. I can just hit him with a light beam. Why did it face me? I don't know why it faced me. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Let's try that again. So we'll hit him with a light beam, and then an X, and then we'll dash, and then we'll hit him with a light kick. And I actually hit him back, nice. And then we'll hit him with a V. It wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me hit him with a V. I missed. I missed. I missed the V, bro. Okay. Oh my gosh, hit him with a C. Okay. Hit him with a Z. Nice. He's almost dead. And then hit with an X. And then... Yes! Now I'm good! Now I'm pretty good. I can take on the Admiral pretty easily. And we're doing pretty good, honestly. Our, our combat is getting better. We're level 157, and I maxed out the mastery for light. I mean, I didn't max it out because I guess 600 is max, but I got all the abilities for light fruit. So now I can head to the next area, Skylands in the next video. So uh, let me know. All, all I need is some answers. Uh, why do I have to get this to 600? Is it like, like I said, is it, does it increase your damage that you do or anything like that as you level it up? Or is 600 just for certain masteries that have abilities that require 600 to unlock? Either way, I can now use, oh, that's what it does. So it hits everywhere. I see, that's good for like mass enemies. I like that. Well, that's what I got. I maxed out my light mastery abilities, got to level 157 and we beat the vice admiral and the marine fortress. Now we're headed to the Skylands next episode. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new and I post daily videos and I, I guess I'm just doing blocks fruits now. It's fun and it's doing well and you guys like it. So we're gonna keep doing it for now. Let me know what I should do next, any other fruits I should consume and how I can grind even faster because I'm trying to max out my level soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Go watch another video I got it. And goodbye.